So here we are trying to create the histogram of oriented gradient histogram. So the thing that you should have done before this is first you use the original image and you convolve it with the the X derivative matrix, so the Sobo filter X, and you convolve it with the Sobo filter Y, so you can get the X gradient and Y gradient. And then for each pixel, you would have X gradient and a Y gradient. And then you can find the gradient magnitude for that pixel as the square and sum and the square root. And you can also find the direction using arc 10 of dy over dx. So then you can plot each one of these arrows, one for each pixel, is you first figure out the direction. So for example, if the direction calculation turns out to be pi over four, then you start with angle zero, angle is the x, positive x direction, then pi over four is this angle is pi over four. So the, the direction is facing that way. And the magnitude you computed, for example, is two, then you draw an arrow with lens two and point in that direction. Let me give you another example. So another example would be say this number turns out to be minus pi, then minus pi is going the other way, in clockwise pi, and which means it's going in the opposite direction of the positive direction. And suppose the G is say four, so it's twice as long. So it will be a very long vector like that. So for each pixel, you'll have a vector with the direction and the length. Length is G, direction is this R10. Then you can draw for each pixel, there is an arrow like these. So for the first one, it gets the magnitude is zero. That, that's why nothing is drawn here. And and then for an image like this, we are just going to break it into different cells. So each cell is like this four by four region. And each block is this larger one. And here, I think we have two by two blocks. So two by two means two cell by two cell blocks. So there are four cells within each block. but. But in the homework, we have one by one block. So block and cell are basically the same thing for the homework. Um, in any case, in each cell, we can figure out a histogram like this. So let's actually draw this like a histogram. So we have beings, and then this axis is the sum of gradient magnitude. So being one and being two, say being three, being one can be, for example, that direction and being two is that direction, and being three is up direction, and being four is that direction, and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to find in this cell how many of these are close to the being one direction. So let's try to figure it out. So which ones are like this? So this one maybe look like that, this one and this one. So what we're going to do is for these three, we are going to add up their magnitude, so their length. So that one is kind of small, that one is a bit longer, and that one is a bit longer. So we just add them up, then we get a, a single number representing the histogram for being one. And similarly, we look at which, which pixels have a gradient that's pointing in that direction, and then I add up their magnitude. So it seems there's none, so these two are not. So none, so zero here. And pointing up, there are ones pointing up. This one is, this one is, this one looks pointing up as well. This one is definitely pointing up. So you add up these four, and these four seems larger than the ones we have. So, so the histogram for being three is larger. And similarly, we can find the ones that, that, has, that have similar directions as this being. So we can add them up so we get something like this, for example, and then we do the same thing for the other ones. Then at the end, we get a histogram. A histogram basically contains eight numbers and they are sum of magnitudes and we call this vector of eight numbers 
which is the one. And this is for sip. I think it turns out for hog is slightly different. So the beans are these two directions, for example, are considered the same direction in hog for some reason that I don't really know. So in hog, eight beans or eight direction means this is the first direction, this is the second direction, this is the third and fourth, and so on. So you have eight uh, actual eight orientations and the opposite directions are considered as the same one. So that's, I guess, the main difference between the hog in the homework that we are computing and this thing here.